when um, my husband was discharged from hospital. I remember just being um, shocked. There was nothing there for us, nothing to meet even our most basic needs. And you feel like you're just alone and nothing's gonna, nothing's gonna help. People find their way to services. What happens is that when they knock on that door, those services often don't have the capacity to meet their needs. And the only services available really did harm him and us. We felt as though we just didn't belong anywhere. We're actually failing people by telling them to look after their mental health and asking them, are, are you okay, and asking them to reach out, but then just not addressing those, those basic needs. Living with mental health challenging is particularly exhausting um, because time and time again you're trying to lift yourself up after experiencing that's something so distressing. My story began in adolescence. I started experiencing uh, violent, intrusive thoughts. All throughout my childhood I felt unloved, unwanted, inadequate, never measured up. I was never acknowledged as a person. It was undiagnosed. I didn't get treatment until I was 21. What we needed was for someone to ask us, <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> and there needs to be different services for different folks. We needed somebody to look at where we were in terms of our housing situation, where we were in terms of our financial situation. If you're homeless, um, there's a reason for it. We lost one house, we nearly lost another. These are terrifying experiences to go through. One of the, the most important values in mental health service is the value of hope. We need services and supports and resources that make people feel human again. We don't want to tell our stories 50 million times when we go to hospital, we only want to tell it once and it gets recorded and we get treated as a person, not a number, a person. It's the essence of what we would talk about with contemporary quality services, that they are fit for purpose. When the government invests in prevention and community mental health supports, we get better mental health outcomes for individuals, we get stronger families and communities, and we get more efficient use of precious public funds. And to truly understand what those needs are, you have to see past what we designate as an illness. With good holistic help, as well as coordination of different services. We can live a really good quality of life with the mental health challenge. Mm -hmm.